Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to discuss with you about the semiconductor equipment manufacturing industry. And for any of you guys are either coming from engineering background, wants to break into this industry because semiconductor recently we have the Chips Act. There will be a lot of money be invested in this semiconductor industry. If you would like to go into this industry, you want to know what you need to learn or what skills you need to pick up before you can get a job in this industry. You have come to the right place and I will share some of my personal learnings in this industry with you. Before I start my session today, I want to make a quick announcement that currently I'm hiring a product marketing manager. The position that I'm hiring needs to be able to manage few product lines in our current metal deposition group. If you know someone who have experience in semiconductor and would like to be a product manager, please reach out to me. So for this topic, what courses you might want to learn as an engineer if you want to go into the semiconductor or semiconductor equipment industry. The reason I have this episode again, shout out to the subscribers and the people who commented my video. In one of my videos, ask about if they want to break into the semiconductor industry, what kind of skills or what kind of courses they need to learn. The first thing you need to understand as a semiconductor equipment is a wide range of equipment. For example, in our company, we have PCVD tools, which is a deposition tool that can deposit thin film, whether it's a metal or it's dielectric. Both those materials will be used in the transistor. Or it will be a PVD, physical vapor deposition tool. And also recently we have a more advanced atomic layer deposition tool that can give you better uniformity. And after deposition, you might heard about the edge tools, the lithography, ion implantation, CMP, just to name a few. So there's definitely commonality between all these semiconductor equipment tools. And also there will be difference between those equipment. So here I'm just giving you a general idea about what topics might benefit you from those jobs. The first skill or course you should consider taking is thermal transfer. Generally speaking, there is three types of heat transfer mechanism, heat conduction, convection and radiation. And we use all these three heat transfer mechanism in our semiconductor equipment. For example, take a consideration of our PCVD tools. How do we heat up the wafer? Usually we have a heater to have direct contact with the wafer, which is the heat conduction. On top of that, you have gases flow around the wafers. Convection will play a critical role in most cases, the convection plays a more important role than heat conduction. Why? Because the contact area between wafer and to your heaters are limited to reduce particles. So that's why you have more heat transfer from the convection. You have radiation going from different surfaces. Radiation can even happen in vacuum. So if you have a vacuum chamber, even in those conditions, your radiation can still happen to different surfaces. The second important course you need to take is fluid dynamics, especially if you want to focus on chemical vapor deposition. We have a lot of gases goes into the chamber to complete the chemical reaction. So when there's gases flow, you need to consider what's the velocity of the gas, flow rate, pressure, Every parameters play a critical role for your film property, whether it's uniformity, particles, or throughput. For example, some of the projects that I worked on related with fluid dynamics. We have gas coming out of a shower head. You need to understand the pressure drop when you have gas flow through an orifice. It might cause condensation on your gases that it might change the vapor pressure of that gas. And sometimes, you want to design a system to balance the flow to certain stations. The fluid dynamics and some simulation skills will definitely help. The third skill or course you might want to consider is on plasma physics 
Recently, we are doing some presentation to our customer on our next generation metal deposition tool and we want to use a dual frequency RF to support the process. And the deeper we dive into the plasma physics, the more challenges I find for myself because it's the foundation of the plasma enhanced chemical reactions or physical wafer deposition tools. If you have good understanding about the plasma, how does it impact your process? Or if you can explain how different frequencies help on your ion density or ion energy, that will let you establish credibility in this industry really quick. Last but not least, if you want to design or be an engineering, you need to have the basic design skill. For example, you need to understand the tolerance, you need to be able to use CAD software to help you to make models. And on top of that, if you can use simulation tools like Comso or ANSYS to do simulations for either thermal or fluid, you will stand out for the competition. Okay, at last, I have a job opening as a product marketing manager. I would want to find someone who have basic understanding about semiconductor equipment industry or have understanding about the critical components we use on the equipment. For example, whether it's generators, power supply, RF match, or e chucks If you know someone who may have interest to this position, please let me know. Thanks for watching. See you next time.